hey, it's Heather Kay. I'm just kind of chilling. There's my cat. She's on my back. She's walking all over me. Um, actually, I was going to make you guys a video. I was just laying here looking at my computer. As you guys know, my hair is uh, journey. It's going white. Today, it's um, I did wash my hair. <laughs> it's... It's, I'm having a bad hair day, but I'm going out shoveling, so I'm not going to make it all straight for you guys today. And you guys know um, uh, that it's going white. I have a hair appointment Monday, and I hope it's not storming and I get to make it because uh, the wispy part of my bangs here are in my eyes. So I wanted to talk about the stages of letting um, your hair go white. Uh, one is you're extremely brave. Two, you don't care if your hair is long or short. And three, you want to be, you want it to be safe, and but almost instant. Um, safe and almost instant could be two categories. Like for me, I um, I uh, tried to bleach my own hair at the end, and then when hmm, something in my teeth, and then when I let it grow um, out, I did it for two months. And it's kind of hard to see. My apologies. I do have a better camera coming. Um, I let it go white um, on its own. So this, all this part is all my own hair. And I'm, I'm really proud of it. And uh, I just had somebody tell me that, um, you know who you are too. She said, you know, you're probably going to want to color your hair before your vacation. It's like, I guess you don't get it. And, and you're such a good YouTube uh, support for me. You don't tell anybody who's transitioning their hair. You know, you, you're probably going to color your hair before you go on vacation. This took how many weeks? Uh, going on four months to get it to go this far? You know? And uh, bleaching your hair is very damaging. And I, and I almost didn't want to do it, but I'm trying to do something, anything. Because I wanted my results to be instant. And I didn't want to look like um, a skunk. From You know how, what I mean? From people have their hair grow out. And, um, and it looks very skunky. So there's other... Um, and, and anybody who's letting their hair go white and who's watching my videos because of, um, because of their journey, letting their hair go white, could you please leave a comment down below that... Uh, what am I trying to say here? Leave a comment down below because I guess you don't, when you make up your mind to go white, it's a journey and it's a journey till the end and it's a journey you're going to live with for the rest of your life. You know, you can color your hair if you miss having dark hair. You see, I'm so sick and tired of coloring my hair is why I'm doing this whole journey and I'm loving the results that are coming in. They're, um, it's coming in white and it's going to be so beautiful. And, and I just love it. Like, why would I color it? Uh, you know, it's, um, it's like, it's like, it's your problem, not mine, I guess. So, I mean, I did want to shave my head. Um, but I was too scared and my whole community shaved their head too. They shaved it, uh, in support of somebody for cancer. And I thought, you know, that would be perfect. I would, sh and one woman I know did that. She actually shaved her head, and um, and she let it go white. But then she colored it back. So I'm thinking, I don't know if I could shave my head then and then and then go back. But hey, everybody's everybody's doing their own thing. So the other thing is a pixie cut. And my hair's only been short twice in my life. I don't know what my cat's doing there. Uh, she's. You're just gonna see cats in my videos, hey. Um, twice. And my, my hair's so thin, it doesn't look good. Um, short. I think she's digging my door. Um, the other thing is just going cold turkey and just letting it grow out. Um, and people talked about highlights and lowlights, um, you know, really tone your hair. Um, you know, the hairdressers will make you blonde, whatever you want. And this is kind of what I'm doing here. But, um, the next time I go for a bleach, I'm going to ask the hairdresser if she has the skills to actually bleach where it's yellow make it go white and a lot of people say um it's a two-part journey because your um when you bleach your hair dark 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 it, it kind of turns like this um orangey color and and i left it orangey color i like i said the m m minimum amount of things i can do in my hair 
um, to keep it healthy is, is where I'm at. So, so like I said, I could put the highlights and lowlights and, and I'm hoping that I, um, the next time I go, it's going to be whiter or lighter, really light, like blonde, right? Um, you can do a few strands of hair silver first, which is kind of where I'm going to be on my next, uh, appointment, which is Monday and it's, uh, what's today? Tuesday. So it's six days away. And the other thing you can do is grow out parts and then color the other parts. And that's kind of also what I'm doing. I'm growing my hair out on the sides and, and on top, um, where the highlights are and then, um, color in other parts, but the colors I did on the other parts, I actually um, made it temporary dye, not permanent dye this time. And I'm really seeing it now because my hair appointment is Monday. I'm really seeing um, the temporary dye almost gone. And I'm loving that too. And so I'm, I'm just really loving this whole journey. Um, just because it's been something I've been fighting with for a very long time. Uh, when you go premature gray like I have, it becomes a struggle that you get sick of doing. So, oh, and I learned um, a new thing, Olaplex. I, I watch videos on other women who make their hair go white. And Olaplex is something I didn't know what it is. It's a treatment. It's a coconut oil treatment. And um, who was it? I think Marilyn Monroe. I was watching one of her documentaries when she bleached her hair. It changed her life. And when my hair goes white, I'm going to be doing a Marilyn Monroe photo shoot for you guys with like earrings just like her. So I'll have to look it up. And uh, she would, I think she would put, was it baby oil or Vaseline all over her hair when she colored it in a method to protect it when she was bleaching it white. And you know what? It's the same thing as Olaplex. You know, they should actually have a product and call it the Marilyn, right? Which is, which is just literally trying to keep your hair healthy when you're going to bleach the hell out of it. So, um... There was nothing called gray toner, which I'm not familiar with. And I guess it fades out and it's been done a few times. And, oh, um, Guy Tang, I've been watching his videos. That's how I know that this should have been bleached white. Because what he does in his video is he bleaches hair completely white, right? And it's white. It's white as snow. And uh, then he colors it, but he does it in three parts of colors so that he adds dimension. See, when people bleach out their hair, it's just one flat look and so he does um hair on the ends and on the middle and on the roots and he sometimes does like a dark or gray on the roots and it and it looks like your hair is growing out but white and i really like him when he's he does to people because, but those people are young they're not growing their hair uh white like the for the purpose of what i'm doing because of my age he does it with um uh for people who just like to have their hair blue and pink and green and and um, gray tones and all of that fun stuff. So uh, you'll have to watch Guy Tang. Um, but like I said, the possibilities are there. And he's so good at it. He doesn't destroy people's hair either. So so anyway, uh, these are the three stages of letting your hair go white. Um, I'm, I'm counting down six days to my next appointment. And I'm hoping that it makes a big change. And uh, no, and I'm not going to color my hair black. Well, my hair is actually very dark brown which I say black because it's the next thing under black hair and my, my hair is naturally very dark brown so that's it I just want to make a quick video and uh, like I said I was told today to uh, maybe you know you might want to color your hair before you go on vacation and I am going on a big trip I'm going on a once in a lifetime trip um, that I will be using my cameras the GoPro and all of that so um, that's gonna. I'm gonna be leaving the end of April, and, and um, I'll be gone five weeks. I'll be on two cruises. Uh, I got. I want to lose weight so I can uh, buy myself some new clothes. And um, I'm the kind of person too that will go to Value Village and make a dress and alter it to fit me. I have um, three sewing machines. One's a surgery and one belongs to my sister. So I, I do have those kind of skills, uh, like that that Molly Ringwald in that movie Pretty in Pink, where she makes clothes for herself. That's the kind of woman I am. I will buy new clothes if I don't have time. And I, I have my favorite shop that I go to. And uh, anyways, but no, I'm hoping my hair is white before I go on my trip. I can't wait. Like I said, I know I'm going to love this. I know it. I, I, <laughs> my hair, <laughs> like I'm stuck in my hair. No, I'm not. Like, look, my hair is pretty healthy. Because I've seen videos where girls were doing this and they get stuck in their hair. 
oh, I'm stuck right there. But the only reason why is because I thought, <laughs> I'll tell you what I did to ruin my hair and gave me this look today. I actually put in um, gel, but the gel was uh, very uh, concentrated. It's almost like glue. Because normally um, when my hair is natural, curly in the morning, I put some gel in it sometimes and it, and it, and it turns out really cool. But right now I've done it and it's stuck up the back and it, it looks like I got bedhead and it's like, this is, um, I thought that was a spider in front of my camera there. Um, my hair is naturally stringy and I'm hoping that by letting my hair grow white, that it will become healthy as well. And, um, and it won't, like right now I figure my hair looks this bad because of all the color and I've done for decades. And so people I've noticed who let their hair go white have beautiful, beautiful hair because they're no longer coloring it and putting chemicals in their hair. Like my hair right here is dead. Like it, that this here part here that I bleached three times myself in the hairdresser, bleached once, it's dead. It just always just hangs on me now. It's got no natural um, pizzazz left in it. And so anyway, that's about it. So I just thought I'd just sit here and uh, make a video and tell you about uh, some of the things I'm doing with my hair. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking about all the stuff that I see on YouTube, the three stages of letting your hair go and, and uh, and then like all giving you guys all the examples that are out there in case you want to know what are all the stages and, and what are all the methods. I just said them all. So press like and subscribe. I'll leave you those um, lists down below and see you real soon.